So we are grateful to the Lord God Most High that he has kept us alive. See this day. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a beautiful day, it isn't it? A wonderful day, and we thank God. I want to zoom straight into a time of adoration. To lift up the name of our Lord and King. I want to prostrate before Him. Bow before Him. Kneel before Him. And exalt Him above all. We want to tell Him that He is God. And indeed, he reigns. To help us do this, this morning, our own mother, Dickness, Doris, Doris, Yanum, Yanum, Afipiasa. Afipiasa. And we receive her with Hallelujah. a mighty clap of fresh hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Morning, my work is very short. 
We thank the Almighty God for this day. And I thank our resident pastor and executive for giving me this opportunity. You know what is worship? Worship your God in your house. But one thing I learned about David is anytime he encounters his God in a special way. He try to raise worship and praise unto him. Likewise, says also we have met God this week. And we are, in, we are still in the process. And we will lower our flag this evening or this afternoon. We will lower our flag of encounter this morning after the worship. So I want us to join hands with David. Psalm 147. 1 to 7. Praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting to praise him. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. The, the Lord builds up PIWC hope. Amen. He gathers the exiles of PIWC. Amen. But no more Israel. We are not in Israel. We are in PIWC Ho. Amen. That's why I'm putting our names over there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He heals the broken hearted and brings up their womb. He determines the numbers of the stars and calls them each by name. God will call you on... God, God will call everybody by his name this morning. If you are able to worship him well, you will mention your name. Hallelujah. Amen. He gathers, great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble, but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God on the harps. Amen. Amen. Greater one is our God. None like him is within almighty so He is great. Oh, 
greater than all. Our God is great. He is great. Far above all. I said great. Our one. He is our God. Not like him. He is with him. Almighty. Our God is great, far above all. Oh, I said, great our one, he is our God, not like him, oh, he is with him, oh, almighty, sovereign, our God is great. God is great. He is great. Oh, greater than all. Our God is great. Oh, He is great. Far above all. Our God is great. Oh, He is great. Greater than all. God is great. Oh, he is great. Oh, far above all. Ando anda bala mala. Imala anda bala kaba anto bara basi nere. E mama ma anda bara basuani ande bo. Our God, you are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. Imalama anda balakaba ando bolo sinebe. Imamale anda branda bale ande bolo sinebe. Lema ana ma anda kaba ando bolo suani ama. Imala anda bale kaba yanda branda balama yanda balabo. I kabaya anda brando ande bo suana ba. I mama le anda kaba anda malama ya na branda bo. Le kaba i ande bo anda brando ande bo do bo sinebe. I kaba anda branda ando ba sinebe bo. I kaba ya na malama ya anda balama anda balaba. I kaba anto balaba suani anda ba. Where is the Lord Allah ande bo suani anda ba. We bow before your throne this morning, Ali and Debo. I kabayanda bale and abranda bale and abalabe. I mama 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 kabalaba anaba. We bless your name this morning. We worship you, Lord. We are ready to be praised. We are ready to worship this morning. We bow before your throne. We bow before your throne. We say you are holy, Anaba and Debo. We honor you, Lord. You are excellent, God. I malaba and Debo. Leka anto bala bala swani anda bala bala sinebe. Ika bala bala anda bala bala anda bala anda bala sinebe. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. 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 We bless your name. We worship you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. You reign in heaven. You reign in heaven. There's none can compare unto you, O God. Le anda bala. Le mama le anda bala ma ya na ba. Le menya anu katutu macho dape na o fufu. Oh, I don't want to give up the bravery. Oh, yeah, I don't see my walk. But he got me. Where the mau? Hey, who make me? The car make me. Oh, I don't want to give up the bravery. Oh, I don't want to give up the bravery. Emenya, Lucy, my wife. I don't want to see you at every moment. Emenya, Lucy, my wife. Be here, Gata. Hey, hey, hey. Where are you now? Hey, you want me to be a camera girl? Ape na wo, ape na wo, bubu na wo. Makafu, bado deji, ape na wo, mesu ba wo, wenye mowu ima wo me, demenya, lusi 
mawa Beia gata nega bena Oh we nye mawa Eye wo megbea Neke mega liyo Akwe na wo Akwe na wo Bubu na wo Makabu Mado reji Akwe na wo Mesu ba wo Oh, <laughs> Lucy Lucy Mawa, Emma mama mama kabala ma yanda balaba andelebo We mala ma anda balaba andelebo suanele E kaba baba baba anda branda balaba sinebe E mama le ando basia na mama 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 la baba Akabala ba we ba we ba we ba We ba Please can we humbly sit down take our seats as we are worshiping Oh ini ribo on am ribo oh oh yeah he ni ribo ah on am ribo yeah he ni ribo oh on am ribo oh yeah he yeah he jesus on am ribo yeah he ni ribo ma ka ba ando ba ba sin de bo eh ka ba ana ba ba suani ana ba ba Macabo and the moon. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jesus. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
silence before the Lord. Catch them with some I am of Ufro. Be the more by some in Bessie, yes, you move. Not them, I want me, yeah, yeah, do. Thanks, now, my am of Ufro. You know, you go, Jaja, me, me, you know, yam, es, es, to, es, to.
Thank you, Lord. I bless you. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Grateful to God for his presence in our midst. Lord has manifested himself in through word of prophecy. Diverse kinds of tongues and interpretation of tongues. Interestingly, both are very closely related. Here yeah, the Lord calling us to deeper fellowship with him. He wants to change us. He wants us to take his word and act on his word in our daily lives. He doesn't want us to do as we will. But he wants us to submit our will to him. So that he can work through us. Thing that struck me. The fact that God is telling us that some of us have made him too. Teachers said, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God this morning. Um, it's a joy to see you this morning in the house of God. Can you turn to somebody, smile to the person, and welcome the person into the house of God this morning? Tell somebody you are welcome. Hallelujah. Amen. And you are looking beautiful, you are looking handsome. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Today is the first time you are joining us in this auditorium. We are glad to have you. Thank you for choosing us from amongst all the churches in the world. And we want to 
assure you that you would have an encounter with God this morning. And we see our first timers stand to their feet wherever they are, please. If anyone is visiting us for the first time, you were invited by somebody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Awesome. Wonderful. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. You can take your seat, please. The ushers will give you a form. Kindly try and fill it and then uh, return it in due course of service for necessary action. Amen. Amen. I also want to acknowledge our online viewers. Uh, online Those joining us online. online. On Facebook. A Facebook. Set your Piazza page and PIWC Who page. Set your Piazza page play PIWC Who page. The Lord will encounter you in the airwaves. And you shall be transfigured this morning. Thank you very much. You are very special. I say you are very special. And you are very unique. And so I want to um, acknowledge you. Time will not permit us to introduce all of us one after the other. But for time constraints, I would have introduced everybody single handed. And you know I can do it. Because I know your name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But time will not permit us. So kindly. Permit me to introduce a few personalities in our midst this morning. So that we will continue with the service. We have our dickens and dicknesses in the house. All dickens and dicknesses. Let's see you wherever you are. Oh, let's see you, please. Can you stand to your feet, please, if you can? All our dicknesses and dickens. Wonderful. God bless you. God bless you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you so much. Our elders are in our midst. Our elders are in our midst. Hallelujah. Can we see our elders, please? Oh, can we see our elders, please? This is a very well. Uh, God bless you. We are grateful. We are grateful. Amongst us, we have the one and only elder professor Set Yao Piasa. And Mama Doris Yanum Afi Piasa. We celebrate God for their lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Our presiding elder is in our midst this morning. Powerful, powerful guy. Powerful, powerful. May I call him a powerful guy? He's not a man, he's a guy. A powerful guy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, this morning, I'm here with my wife. So my name is David, she is Anna. Today happens to be a birthday, actually. Amen. Amen. And then again, we have a father in our midst. Take your time. <laughs> in the voice of the Kimben Apesi, Neno Blow. We have Pastor Jerry Paul Aja retired in our midst. So for Aja Jerry Paul, Elemia Dome. This man passed through places. And years later, I also passed through that, those places. When he was district pastor at Joje, my first station at Vedakpa was under him. When I got to Avedakpa, I met Avedakpa. Oh, the pastor Jerry Polaja, pastor Jerry Polaja, pastor Jerry Polaja. Ah, no, pastor, I found Koyom. No, to Kaima. No, Papa Benny. No, 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 Papa. Shall we stretch forth our hands on him and bless him? The good news is that henceforth, Pastor Jerry Paul Aja retired. Pastor Jerry Paul Aja is part and parcel of PIWC. Wow! If you are as PIWC, our area head, 
Apostle Dr. Delacampa asks, asks me to inform you that the area executive committee have decided that our father will be fellowshipping with us. Anytime he is in hope. So now you have two pastors. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And this morning, a father has come home. I said a father has come home. Hallelujah. Amen. This man has impacted my life from when I was 11 years old. He didn't know himself. But then from when I was 11 years old, his impact started working on me. Started working on me. And he's still working on me. And it is not by coincidence that he has pastored PIWC who before. It has pleased the Lord this morning that to climax our maiden transfiguration encounter conference. We shall receive our very own father. And mother, our dearly beloved, apostle, apostle, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, and mama, mama, Agatha Kwafu. Shall we stand to our feet and give them a warm welcome, a resounding welcome? Hallelujah! Amen. Oh, hallelujah! Amen. Please, you can take your seats. He is the one who is chairing this occasion on behalf of our area head this morning. And through him, the Lord will be a blessing to us. Amen. Amen. Taking Eric, who is also celebrating his birthday this morning, will give us administration. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me see your hand. God has been faithful. And in the Bible, anybody who has encountered this his name change. Anybody in the Bible who have encountered with God his name change. Second his ministry change. Fisherman he became apostles. Shepherd. You become kings. This morning, India. your name is changed. Amen. Oh. Won't Jesus. sorry. Jesus. Yema wudi nu su Jesus wudi nu ya kase nyame wuko ne rabi Jesus le anda basi ndaba when I had an accident I makama kwa for kwa when I was in coma for three weeks Emma no edima koshira tuan my first encounter anya godo do ban tuan. I met elders with beard. And they were speaking to me. People were there. But nobody can interpret the language. 
an elder came from top to down. I show my father. I show my father. He just descended. Then he started interpreting what the man is telling me. Tell your son that. Tell your son that. He will not die. Amen. So if Edda could have not come from heaven to the down, I would die. But people were there. But what the man was saying, nobody can interpret. Jesus. Yes, sir. Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Jesus. Jesus. Ah. I'm holding on every. Papa, and when we ask you during the week, I was invited one of the, to the one of the districts. Oh, young, open me that district of the Matoleka after ministering. I'm a word of a woman came to me, young mother, back bonnie minister. Minister, your marriage certificate is with me. What? 20, 2014. After ministry, the market. So where is it? My house. Papa. Montu aye e I don't know Susan, 
What you Isn't it a wonder that your wedding certificate? How did he get to that person? Like a Wafi Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to take administration from the seraph courts. I will prepare the way for the administration of apostle. Emmanuel Ajekwaf this morning. I want to prepare your heart. I want to prepare your mind. Because immediately after the administration, Papa will mount the podium. Amen. 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 Our Jesus reign. Amen. Amen. He is holy and he reigns. You reign. You ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. You reign. You ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. 
them upon the throne. Sing loud, oh saints of God most high. Sing loud, God, oh, to the Lamb upon the throne. You reign, you reign, you reign, you reign, shines out. Kados, 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 you are holy. Thank 
Papa and the Bull with Silibo and the Balabi and the Balabo Lake Bayan the Balabo and the Balanda, Malababa and the Balabo Le Mama and the Silly Lord Kaba and the Bodo was living. A Mama Matu Naye Ama Jesus Nyame Dene Umobro Edru Nesu Matu Naye Ama Jesus Nyame Dene Umobro Edru And you, 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 servants of the cross. Yes, Lord. We have no ambition. Mm. We have no desire. But you. Yes, Lord. We thank you for the privilege to be part yes, Lord. of this unusual encounter. Amen. Amen. Thanks for the privilege you gave to John, James, and Peter. The three selected out of the twelve. Yeah. Of all the districts in Ghana, you decided to reveal yourself to who PIWC in this yes, way. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. And Father, we oh, are grateful. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the various ways by which you have communicated to us even this morning. We continue to open our hearts. Let something happen to us. Amen. Amen. Oh God, let something happen Amen. to us. Amen. Oh God, let something happen to Amen. us. Amen. Oh God, Amen. let something happen Amen. to us. Amen. So that at the end of the day, our lives will continue to offer praise unto you. Take hey, glory, Father. Lord. Take glory, Son. Lord. Take glory, Holy Spirit, Lord. for answering our prayer. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Um, I, am, I am super excited to be here for many reasons. Because home sweet home. Uh, there is no place on earth like home. Even seeing Dr. Busa this morning, it means that I'm home. But this man has vanished for a very long time. And I don't take this opportunity for granted at all. I want to thank Apostle Dr. Elakwampa who taught me in the Bible school uh, for giving me the opportunity to close 
the encounter sessions for him. And the Archbishop of this auditorium. My, my own boss. Thank you so much and all the leadership. See, when you come to church, pay attention. When you come to church, pay attention. From the opening prayer or intercessory prayer through to benediction, if the service is a real Pentecostal service, it connects. And you don't have to jump any of the processes. Other than that, you will not live there blessed. It is like going to Trafalgar and ignoring those at the OPD. Your attention is on the doctor who is going to take care of you. You ignore all the processes and the doctor cannot administer his work. There is a need for someone to take the vitals. And they are going to form the basis for the doctor's consultation. So as soon as you enter the auditorium, you have entered the very presence of God. And everything that happens here is important. So like our chairman has been saying, this is an equipping center. We come here to be equipped so that we can go out there and lash the devil. So paying attention to the praises. Paying attention to the worship. And especially the song that says, My song. I started getting crazy. Because it is like I wish I had a voice that can speak to the whole world to know who God is. It is hurting me that time and space has become constrained that I cannot share my story about Christ to the whole world. I was just getting crazy. So it is it is very wise to praise the Lord as the scripture she read said. You see, when Mau Yimavome makes more sense than translating it into English. Everlasting God. 
If you and egg blale, you book bema, I love a bema, I met to go me the death to you book bema, pebble. Mavo, mavo. Forever, everlasting. It doesn't Tender. finish. Me wuna no, said the family. The thing you spend, ah, it doesn't finish. I know Zabu, mavo. And he says, mavo, mavo. It doesn't finish, it doesn't finish. Eternity to eternity, there's no end. And that is our God. So the, the prophecy was drawing our attention. That there is a God who is Mavo Mavo. He is one. If you have added another God, then you are making a mistake. Because every God he will vow. As for this God, Mavo Mavo Lo, he is Sometimes when, when I request delay, we think God has thrown us out. But even in human sense, we know that it doesn't take a day to harvest from a cocoa tree. As God told us in the prophecy. Then the deacon sank. And he spoke about going into coma. And I was telling myself, because you, you have not died before, what he's saying, you don't understand. But those of us who recently paid a visit to death, and he gave us a seat. See, he was just waiting for the other process where we go. And we knew we were gone. And the doctors, the doctors taking care of us even knew better that we are far, far, far gone. Every morning they will call my wife. How is Quaff? Just to hear that he couldn't make it. Enti we would die. Obetin asi. Tane de kupo de asepe nyago. Are you you know die before so you know go understand. E we me kupo tamase gomo. But there is a God who is one. Ake ma wode le henye ma wode ka. Whose kingdom is everlasting into everlasting. E pe fi adu pe cho ma vome yi de ma vome. Then the choir sang. E choir hava jiha. And they took us to the throne. E o kwe mi de fi azilango. This morning, yeah. as we end our maiden conference, yeah. under the theme, Supernatural Transformation. See, if you have done science before, you understand what you call by transformation. But all those transformations can happen in the lab. You take your blue litmus paper, dip it into an acid, it turns red. It is transformational, but that is physical transformation. So physics will tell you to every course, when there is a course, there will be an effect. But the God we are talking about this morning creates effect without a cause. So I want to finish with you on what God has So I want to finish with you on what God has laid on my heart. The essence of the transfiguration. The, the essence of the transfiguration. Transfiguration, transfiguration, and so what? You attempt to provide answers for the and so what? See, all that God is doing this morning and he has done from Tuesday, he is expecting that you will not be the person you have always been. Because 
If after this encounter you are the same, then you need 80 days of dry fasting and prayer. But I know that God will do something in your life. Amen. So I'm going to give a brief background. What, what, what in my mind, what I think led to the transfiguration. Then we draw a small picture about what the transfiguration is. I know within the week you have heard a lot because I have followed everything from Tuesday to Friday. Uh, can get to see uh, the annual, annual media or whatever I was following. <laughs> But I'll add a little. Then I'm going to do comparison between metamorphosis and transfiguration. Then I'll pull out Jesus Christ and then we look at what actually happened during the transfiguration. Then I stepped down to touch on the essence of the transfiguration. Then we find out if there are lessons we can pick or there are reflections we can make on the transfiguration. Chairman, we see then the big one. How would you experience the transfiguration? Then we pull down the curtain on our discussions and do some opening prayer. I've been telling my family that we are not even going to do this. It will be less than opening prayer. What we will do after the sermon will be less than opening prayer. Any prayer that qualifies to be an opening prayer should be at least two hours. Any prayer below two hours, it is just warm up to opening prayer. Jesus asked the disciples, can't you keep watch with me even an hour? It means an hour is for toddlers. You are a pastor, you pray for one hour and you are happy. We have to give you premature uh, retirement. You are an elder, you pray for one hour, you think you have reached heaven. Opening prayer, opening prayer is two hours. But time will not permit us to do opening prayer after the sermon. Now give me your attention. You see, in the Garden of Eden, what Satan did was to undermine God. Satan came to Eve and then undermined God to Eve. He challenged the word of God. He won the heart of Eve. And then Eve influenced her husband. And that is what has brought all humanity to where we are. Now when Jesus came, Find time to read the Gospels carefully. All the Pharisees and Sadducees and teachers of the law were doing was to undermine Jesus Christ. So that everybody will see Jesus like anyone else. 
didn't want Jesus to be projected like he actually was. So in Matthew 16, 1 to 4, can you help me with that? Matthew 16, 1, let's be fast. Yeah. I miss this Gbanto Gbanto. Oh. Uh-huh. Gbanto, it means the first, the first one. Okay, Matthew 16. Uh-huh. The Pharisees and Sadducees came to Jesus and tested him. Ah, what do you mean to test God? The Pharisees and Sadducees came to Jesus Christ in the presence of his disciples and tested Christ. And they asked him, show us a sign from heaven. If you are from heaven as you claim to be, then show us a sign from heaven. One of the reasons was to cast doubt in the minds of the disciples about the person of Christ. He was up to his usual business, what he did in the garden by undermining God before Eve. He was undermining the power of Christ before the disciples. And they were propounding a theory or a doctrine I have named the doctrine of trivialization. Trivializing Christ. Trivializing the word of God. Trivializing the salvation we are going to obtain through Christ. So the, the test, the essence of the test was to render Jesus useless before his disciples. So in our time, there are many religions asking many questions about Christ. Their agenda is to make Christianity a trivial religion. So people are downplaying on prayer. As for this thing, it's not prayer. What is not prayer? He has access to pray without season. We are to pray about the things we know, the things we don't know, the things we have power over, the things we don't have power over. Everything from dawn to dusk is prayer. And people are trivializing prayer. Trivializing the salvation we have obtained. As if that the, the, the salvation doesn't matter so much. Trivializing the word of God. When, when, when we hear, nothing pricks us. It becomes normal in our ears. So someone can be whatsapping their girlfriend while the same one is going on. If they like, don't care. If like, care. Trivializing everything about God. Watch your doctrine about Christ. If you are taking him for granted, be careful. Now, after Jesus had answered the Pharisees, he had time with the disciples and then he wanted to know their minds. 
to find out whether they have been negatively influenced. So he asked them, who do people say I am? Then the answers started coming. John the Baptist. Pay attention carefully to what I'm saying. Oh, some say you are John the Baptist. Some say Elijah. Some say Jeremiah. And some say one of the prophets. So it could have been Moses. Moses. Elijah's name has been mentioned. Oh, you are Elijah, ho, ho. John the Baptist has been mentioned. One is more today, tell all you are. Jeremiah has been mentioned. Jeremiah, how are you are. Or one of the prophets. And that could have been Moses. Or Samuel. Samuel. Or any of them. Then he asked them. So you. Who do you say I am? Then by revelation. So pay attention to this one too. By revelation received by Peter. I don't see it as revelation but in conviction. It was just revelation that came. But I am not sure whether Peter was deadly convinced about that. We have to grow from the level of revelation to the level of conviction. Having visions is not enough. Wisdom. Satan did not have visions about God. He knew God. Satan did not have visions about God. He knew him. He was standing in front of God giving worship every day. God speaks, he hears. He speaks, God hears. Satan, he knows God. So having revelations can be good, but it is not the end. It is a means to an end. But revelations should lead us to a point of uncompromising conviction. Convictions that are sure Firmly established, and nothing in creation can shift. So in Matthew 16:16, 16, 16, Peter said, You are the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Good revelation. Jesus was satisfied. Because he knew that after all the things the Pharisees were trying to do, there, there, there are some among them who knew that he was a Christ. Esther, this is Matthew 16:16. Now, uh, when you jump to 21, something happened. Uh, now, the man who had received the revelation uh, did something very strange. Uh, Matthew 16, 21 to 23. From that time on, Jesus began to explain to the disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed, and on the third day, be raised to life. Next verse. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. How dare you rebuke God? Jesus 
be wa fi afun be maku kakale nkan ka to gbala maga fon la gbe ya ko petro kedaga yo kan kumene e mo ka epo akan kumena mao how dare you rebuke god e mo ka ya epo akan kumena mao if you don't accept what he is saying how dare you rebuke god e nya ke he yesu le gbogbo ne me hu e de mo de mo nu popo ka isu asi o bona kan kumena mao go and rebuke emperor nero and you see where your head will be even you go to the Ashanti kingdom and insult the king in his presence. Why now fast you rule a palace or no? On fast you pay. Oh, that you that Ashanti top of your bow. Now we come on our own. Now we do. I'm not going to hear you top of the Kiasama. I'm not going to do that. Just after confessing the Christ, he took the hand of Jesus, pulled him there, and then rebuked him. How dare you? And Jesus knew the trick. He had seen that the underminer has come. Trying to undermine him again. So the next verse. The next verse. Next verse. Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. <laughs> If you want to be a good pastor, make the concerns of God your concern. My sister, if you want to be a good Christian, let the concerns of God be your ultimate. Peter had confessed Christ, but he was still concerned with the things of men. And he rebuked God. Okay. What lessons do we learn from that experience? Matthew 16, give me the 24. Then Jesus said to his disciples, after Peter had rebuked Jesus. And Jesus had rebuked Satan. This statement came. Then Jesus said to the disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must, must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. <laughs> Next, uh, okay. Twenty five. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me, will find it. You see, what is happening here is that Jesus is bringing all the discussions to himself, Christ. It is not about us. It is about him. Even our very lives do not matter when it comes to Christ. 26. What good will it be for someone? What good will it be for Piazza? What good will it be for divine? To gain the whole world. Do you understand this? <laughs> the whole world. All the human beings in the world all the wealth in the world, all the wealth, W-O-R-T-H, all the wealth of the world, what good will it be for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit his soul? 
E vide kai wanye na mafio, vide kai wanye na spiasa, vide kai wanye na doris. Be yiye me kata, ame gbeto kata, kesi yonwa kata la nyimwa yaji, wanye ame mato, e epe lubo abui. Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? E ye nuka ye ame de ata wana, ako doli de epe lubo, alo nuka ame de ata na de epe lubo tepe. So you, because of university school fees, you have sold your soul for someone's husband. You, you sell it. Because of small promotion at your workplace. You have sold all your convictions for Satan. Maybe you don't know the value of a soul. The next verse. For the Son of Man is going to come in his Father's glory with his angels. And then he will reward each person according to what they have done. Day after day, how we for Jesus. Oh, the whole, the whole Holy Spirit. I will obey. I will live for Jesus. Day after day, I say, I will live for Jesus. Oh. Day after day, I will live for Jesus. Yo. Come what may, as for me, the Holy Spirit, I will obey. I will live for Jesus. Day after day. ourselves and place Jesus first. See, my wife that I love. My kids that I cherish. And then family and loved ones that I uphold. Because my interest in the world is dead. And the world's interest in me is long dead. Sometimes I miss that place. But when you watch them, you pray to stay a little while. God wants us to come to a level of complete denial. We don't have any interest in the world, nor the things in the world. But that the love of the Son will consume us. We are losing our lives because we want to gain it in Christ. Because our soul is valuable than anything else in Christ. So Jesus hinted the disciples. That the Son of Man will come in the glory of his Father. Bringing their mind to a glory that is bigger than what the Pharisees were displaying. And then he said he will come and judge. You know what he was telling them? He was telling them, I am God. Because the, the Jews know that it is only God who judges. It is only God who can instruct angels. Now, if he is coming with the glory of his father in the company of angels to judge, 
Then basically he was telling the disciples that I am God. Oh, may our eyes be open to see the glory of the king. Amen. May our eyes be open to see the glory of the king. When the light of the king begins to shine in our lives and in our hearts. It swallows up all the little lights. Amen. The things we cherish and rely on. When the real light of God begins to shine in all its brightness. The tiny, tiny, tiny lights diminish. Oh, King, may you open our eyes that we may see into your beauty and your glory. Open the doors for us to have a supernatural encounter. Mm. And your feet Shall we be on our feet? God. Oh, let me gaze On thee, on thee Son of God Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in His wonderful passion and beauty. Oh, now. this prayer. Oh. At the half year meetings for home and other missions. Half year meeting can me want a home and other mission. I challenge the pastors. If you are a pastor and you write your report half year, full year, then you are bold to write under spectacular event. No spectacular event, you have a problem. Signs and wonders must happen all times. 
One pastor said, this thing must happen in my life. To last two weeks, we have sent some missionaries to be ministering to the ham targeted group. And he got into a home of a non-Christian. And met a child blind. The story was that when the child was young, they held the eyelids like this, opened it, and then poured sand on it and covered it. For the two sides. And it, it, it has been that for a long time. Now, Dr. Abusa will tell you the child will permanently go blind. This is many years. And the boy or girl is blind. And he said, God, I am a pastor. A whole year. No oh, miracle. I'm losing, I'm losing my relevance. Then he laid hands on the child. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. You see, the pastor was not bold. After the prayer, so he jumped on his motorbike. Our salary is a proof. The child's eye opened. Well, who are you? After this transfiguration encounter, something must happen. Amen. Don't let your relationship with God be a care, a care. You must say. When you say, when you say, they say, they say, you have to We want to hold Jesus Christ. Yes, mami, who? Yes, Let something happen in my life. I am yearning for an encounter. Enough, Enough of the stories. I want to know. Lift up a prayer in the name of Jesus. I'm 
pressing on. I'm pressing on. The upward way. New heights I'm gaining. New heights I'm gaining. Oh, in every day. Still praying us. I won't walk back. Now lift up your right hand. Oh, in the room. Oh God. Hold our hands and take us up the mountain. Oh God, hold our hands. Hey, take us up the mountain. We want to see your glory. 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 Open your mouth and pray. happened in Matthew 16. If you read Matthew 17, he says six days after <laughs> he called Peter who confessed him and rebuked him. And he said, I am going to change this man forever. Ah, 
It doesn't matter how your life has been. Come see, come see. I am doing, I am not doing. I am strong today, I am weak tomorrow. Something will happen. Something will happen. So six days after, he took Peter. He took John. He took James. And led them up the mountain. And that was where the thing happened. Come on. Now when they came from the mountain. Peter was a changed man. A changed man. Yours may not be six days. Maybe in this service. In this service, Lord. Something unusual. Will Something unusual. Revival has started. Revival has broken out. Revival is breaking. Revival is breaking. Hey, receive it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Hey. Receive it. Hey. Receive it. Now. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. Yeah. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. 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 Today. Oh God. It's not an ordinary day. No. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. We want to encounter you. We want to encounter you. We want to encounter you. In the name of Jesus. 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 An encounter is coming. An encounter. An encounter is coming. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. An encounter. In the name of Jesus. 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 An encounter. A special encounter. Receive it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. An encounter. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are not living here the same. You are living with fire. Receive it in the name of Jesus. An encounter. An encounter. Unusual encounter. An encounter. Take it in the name of Jesus. 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 After the six days. After the six days. He took them to the mountain. And something happened. Oh God, my way. do something. Do when something. Go, Holy go, God, do something. Holy this is the equipping center. Oh, yeah, no, 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 oh God, do something. Do something, Lord. Release something. 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 In the name of Jesus. Release something. No, Kabo, Maya. Something happened. And now. I know he touched me in the name of Jesus. 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 Oh God. 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 Oh that's me, my soul. Oh, something, something, something happened. I am the higher. I am the higher. He touched me. And me. I said something, something happened. happened. And now I am Something, something happened, and now, and now, I 
know. He touched me. Holy Ghost. And made me whole. Now let's raise our hands up. Mm. Six days afterwards, Six days. they needed to see something. So they will move from the level of revelation to the level of conviction. And Jesus held the hands of the three. And he said, Follow me to the mountain top. To the mountain top. Oh God. Oh God. Lead your church to the mountain top. Lead us to the mountain top. This morning, oh God. Oh God. Lead us to the mountain top. Lead us to the mountain top. Lead us to the mountain top. Receive your visitation. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Jesus take it. 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 it. Take 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 your seat. Bra, 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 uyo nyami. Bra, 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 mi srabe. Bra, mani penyine, use uyo nyami ampa. Bra, bra, mani penyine, use. Bra, 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 uyo nyami. Bra, 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 mi srabe. Brahmani penyine, who say uyo nyame ampa. Bra, oh bra, obiare hunu se. Bra, 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 uyo nyame bra, oh bra, obiare hunu se. Bra, bra, bra. Now listen to me. As I say, six days after, something happened that cleared all their doubts. And that is the transfiguration. Hallelujah. So slide on transfiguration. See? The things the eye sees every day. When the transfiguration happens, that same eye begins to see differently. And what the eye begins to see is not imaginary. It is real. Transfiguration is complete change in form. Complete change in appearance into something that is more beautiful and spiritual. Transfiguration means change from physical to spiritual. Change from tangible to intangible. Hey, yeah. Something that in the few minutes ago you can hold. Now after some few time the person has changed and you cannot hold it again. Hey, yeah. Change from ordinary to more glorious. Hey, yeah. I'll give you the next slide. Look at this diagram. This is what we call in biology complete metamorphosis. If you look at the one on your left, 
The beetle you see there, the red and black. The red with the black spot. It begins as an egg in the leaf. Then the thing changes. And it gets to the stake too. With legs. Then that thing changes. Completely to stake three. Then this changes and becomes complete insect. Metamorphosis. Look at this one. It begins as an egg. Then it becomes a lava. Look at the nature of the lava. You find them on leaves. Then the lava changes to pupa. The pupa is completely different from the lava. After some time, a butterfly comes out of the pupa. This is what you call metamorphosis. Now pick the next slide. Now this is what you call transfiguration. Crow, 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 
to the mountain. Papa na omudin komo kita ni so omo fro so. Apeta ma opo le je do mo liya pass o ide to la ji. Oba do do pe ma. Everything had changed. Enu kata tro. You can sit down. Ate wa no ai. Now Jesus is the one in the middle. Ti fi la Yesu enya me ke le do do me na o. Yes. <laughs> He's the one in the middle. His face was shining like the sun. How many of us have seen the sun before? You've seen the sun before. Raise up your hand. Oh, you have not seen the sun. You have not. <laughs> you have seen the light. But the sun you have not seen. Because the sun you cannot watch. Now his face shone like the sun. The man had changed. Move on and go to your mommy. Where are the elders? Ejumaba. The elders. Get up. Get up. If, if, if Peter and the friends tell you what happened to them there. You understand what is happening. Lay your hands on them and pray for them. Lay your hands on them, pray for them, let them sit down. So we continue. So this is transfiguration. When they were going, they were three. When they got there, they became six. And what marvels me is that Elijah came. How did they know? Moses came. How did they know? Hallelujah. Amen. At the transfiguration, Jesus shone like the sun. And his clothes became white. As light. Now Moses appeared. Remember that I told you that Jesus could be one of the prophets. Leaving the disciples in doubt. And that, that one of the prophets could be Moses. When they got to the mountain, Moses appeared. So case die. Then Elijah too appeared. So if they are saying Jesus could be Moses, could be Elijah, it is not true because the disciples have gone there, their eyes have seen Moses and Elijah speaking with Christ. Then a cloud came from heaven and enveloped all of them. They have read that God spoke to Moses on the mountain. They have read that when God wants to speak, sometimes he comes in a cloud. And a voice speaks from the cloud. So on the mountain, there were many things they could relate with. So that cloud which led their forefathers, the cloud came and enveloped them. 
Hallelujah. That voice that gave the Ten Commandments. The voice spoke from the cloud. But this time around, the voice did not give commandments concerning laws for the Jews. But he said that this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased Hear him. Listen to him. Obey him. And follow him. Why the transfiguration? Give me your attention. I'll be ending very soon. Transfiguration is not an experience to boast with. Sometimes it is not all the experiences you have to share. When they were coming from the mountain, Jesus told them, don't tell anyone what you have seen. Until I am resurrected from the dead. These encounters we are having, and many more encounters we will be having. They are not for show off. But they are meant to change our understanding about Christ. To change the value we place on our salvation. They give us unwavering convictions and testimonies about Christ. And then lead us into complete reliance on the coming kingdom. So that after these encounters, you are fully going to obey Christ and him alone. With uncompromising allegiance. Undivided allegiance like the prophecy said. The transformation coming out of the transfiguration is to show you better the glory of Christ. So when Peter came down from the mountain, he changed. First one, he said, you are the Christ. Just by revelation. But after the encounter, his testimonies about Jesus Change. Brothers and sisters, we need deeper experiences of Christ. People have seen things. Sometimes we are joking. People have seen things. People have heard things. People have enjoyed God. God can be enjoyed. That's like you eat food and get excited. That's like some of us are enjoying our marriages. God can be enjoyed. And he's sweeter than any honey on the tongue. We need a kind of experience. First of all, through the word of God. So something was happening to David. He, 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 he got into the word and got, then he said, Oh, your word is a lamp unto my feet. And a light unto my path. When he opens the scriptures, some things happen to him. His mind is opened. His heart is open. The Lord captures him into another realm. 
So he looks through the scripture and says, Oh, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Your word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For the word of God is living and active. Something was happening to the writer of Hebrews. The word of God is living and active. Sharper than any double-edged sword. It travels to dividing even the soul and the spirit. It finds its way into bones and marrows. There is something in the word of God. The transfiguration encounter opens our eyes to that word. Oh, let us desire deeper things in the name of Jesus. My small brother David. He said one time, his quiet time. He knelt down and started worshiping. Then he took his Bible. Revelation chapter 1. Chapter 2. Chapter 3. Chapter 4. Chapter 5. Chapter 10. Chapter 20. Chapter 21. Chapter 22. When he got up from his knees. He was done with revelation. There is something in the word. If you know how to read, don't waste resources. The education you have received, read the scriptures. Extraordinary encounters. Ah, I've been asking myself, Paul. He was on a ship. There was going to be shipwreck. The people were worried. He said, no, no, bleo. This night, God's angel came to me. He has given me the assurance. No soul here will be lost. Amen. As for the ship, it will crash. But for dying, power there. Nobody will die. May the Lord lead us Amen. into unusual encounters with him. Unusual encounters with him. We need deeper, authentic fellowship with God. Let us leave, brothers, let us leave hypocrisy aside. See, when you get up in the morning, you must be convinced. God knows me. I also know him. He is with me. The first step I make out of my room like this. And the last step by which I enter my room. I went with God. I came with him. We have to have that assurance. Authentic relationship with him. Second Corinthians chapter 12. Second Corinthians chapter 12. Give me the verse 1. I must go on boasting. Although there is nothing to be gained. I'll go on to visions and revelations from the Lord. Next verse. I know a man in Christ. He didn't say I know an angel. Minimonipa. 
I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up into the third heaven. Whether it was in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. There are two possibilities. The first possibility is that the man could have been physically whisked into the third heaven. Or his spirit was caught there. Go to the next verse. And I know that this man and he emphasizes whether in the body or apart from the body, I do not know, but God knows. Was caught up to paradise and, and had inexpressible things. Things that no one is permitted to tell. There is something God can tell you alone that he will not allow you to tell anyone. But if you are privileged to hear that, your life is changed. Amen. See, do you know why Daniel was crazy? Do you know why Peter and others didn't fear death? They have had an encounter the others had not had. We need a deeper experience. We need a steady conviction and confession of our faith. Don't be in doubt. If it pleases the Lord, he kills us. Let us accept death with excitement. We must come to a level where nothing pushes us. We have resolved. We have concluded. Now, the transfiguration should lead you to a steady conviction. This study means that constant. A kind of speed that does not reduce. Study conviction. So that we are making confession of our conviction every day. See, recently there was something in my family. And they said they had to visit the shrine. And they wanted to sell some family land. My mother had a part in it. So I called my uncle. You have to make sure this land, nobody touches it. If you want to go for money to do your throw throw, you can go. But as far as my mother has a share in it, so no idol will benefit from our resources. Some of us are cowards. Give to Caesar what is Caesar. Jesus was talking about tax. He was not talking about allegiance. And those who quote this scripture, even tax, they don't want to pay. Our allegiance is to Christ and him alone. Matthew. Transfiguration encounter makes us humble. Because if I look at my nature here, this tiny, microscopic, infinitesimal man of God, from an idol family, my father was an idol worshiper. And my mother was born into idolatry. And then he calls you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Then you look at this transfigured Jesus Christ. 
whose face shines like the sun, calling me a useless mortal body, his brother. I have no other option than to humble myself. Transfiguration leads to holiness. It leads to complete obedience. And more loyalty to Christ. God is real. God is not abstract. God is not an idea. God is not a philosophy. God is not a school of thought. God is not a concept. God is real. God can be seen through his word. He can be seen through dreams and revelation. He can be seen in our lives. And he can be heard audibly. You can hear God speak like I'm speaking into your ears. I pray that you have that encounter. Amen. Now I want to conclude. First John 1. John 1. First John 1. First John 1. Anytime you have an encounter, this is what your testimony becomes. Please, project it. Let the thing stay on the thing. That which was from the beginning. John is the one speaking. At the transfiguration, he was there. Aha. <laughs> so when he started speaking his mind went back to the transfiguration then he remembered when they were struggling to climb the mountain he said ah what is Jesus coming to do with us here then all of a sudden boom Jesus had changed he couldn't look at his face the cloth had changed ah what is happening? Look at then Moses came. Yeah, Moseva. Yeah, Jojom. Uh, BBC. Then Elijah came. Elijah have, uh, ah, then they were talking. And they heard all that they were saying. So Peter even said, please, let's build three tabernacles for you. They didn't know the bigger one was coming. A bright cloud came. Overshadowed them. Then a voice spoke. This is my beloved son. In whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Then fear gripped them. They buried their faces in the ground. So he remembered that. And he said, that which was from the beginning. Which we have heard. Which we have seen with our eyes. Which we have looked at. And which our hands have handled. <laughs> our hands have held. This we proclaim concerning the word of life. If you have a real encounter, your testimony changes. First Peter 1. 16. First Peter 1, 16. First Peter 1, 16. Is it first Peter 1? Sorry. Second Peter, sorry. Second Peter 1. Pick from the 12. Pick from the 12. Uh, pick from the 12. So I'll always remind you, oh, let the thing stay on on the thing. Uh, this one doesn't go. Eh? Oh, okay. So I'll always remind you of these things. Even though you know them, 
And are firmly established in the truth you now have. Oh. I think it is right to refresh your memory as long as I live in this tent. So this one, I am telling you. Because I know that I will soon put aside as our Lord Jesus Christ had made clear to me. And I will make every effort to see that after my departure, you will always be able to remember these things. See, these things, they don't make sense. But it is sensible. Peter was so crazy that he said, me, I know I'm going to die. But because of what I've seen, even in death, I'll make sure you obey. When I was growing up, there was this gun man, a car nearly knocked him down and he jumped aside. He said, Don't you have knocked me and I had died, like you see. And and Peter is standing there, even after he's dead, you make sure. For we did not follow cleverly devised stories. You see, what you are telling you, they are not stories. When we told you about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in power, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Hey. He received honor and glory from God the Father when the voice came to him from the majestic glory. Saying, this is my son. You know, when Peter was writing this, the first experience he had on the mountain, the fear that gripped him, the horror in his eyes, and the speed with which he buried the face in the ground. He remembered it vividly. This is my son. Whom I love. With him I am well pleased. We ourselves had this voice that came from heaven. When we were with him on the sacred mountain. So anytime you read this, you have to understand Matthew chapter 17. We also have the prophetic message as something completely reliable. Brothers, what I am sharing with you this morning is a reliable message. If you rely on it, you will never be put to shame. This message is reliable. And you will do well to pay attention to it. As to a light shining in a dark place. Until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your heart. Above all, my brothers and sisters, you must understand that no prophecy of scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. Next verse. For prophecy never had its origin in the human will. I am not sharing with you my will. Because I didn't even know how the service will run. All I knew was that a message had been given to me. I didn't even know how I would deliver it. Because I lack the vocabulary. Scripture is not by anyone's will. But prophets. So human. 
spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. As you live here, you are living here as a child of God. Amen. Be sure of that. And, and that should spare you on unto righteousness. Second Corinthians 5 talks about when this tent will give way to a more glorious tent. We are, we are going to be like Jesus at the transfiguration one day. And that is a purpose. So all this understanding should prepare us to be more effective in the possessing the nation's agenda. If you want to have this encounter and have it all the days of your life, I'm giving you these simple nuggets. Number one, be with Jesus with an undivided attention and allegiance. Be with Jesus. Be with Jesus. With an undivided attention. Spend time with him alone on the mountain. Don't rush out. Sometimes even in our prayers, we are in a hurry. You are a pastor. Sometimes lock yourself. If the whole day God has not spoken, wait on him. Maybe he may come the second day. Just like Elijah was pursuing Elisha. Let's spend time with God in prayer. Personal retreat. Alone with God, praying and fasting. Worshipping God. Spending time to, to use your mind on meditating on him. Do not let this book of the Lord depart from your mouth. He says what? You should meditate on it day and night. It is a way of receiving an encounter. It could come in the trotro. It could come in the taxi. It could come at check service. It could happen when you are asleep. It can happen at any time. Now expect a touch. Pray for a touch. Desire for a touch. And work towards it. Because these things comes with persistent and consistent seeking. Don't stop following the master in season and out of season. Be on your feet. Tell the Lord something. Tell the Lord something. Open your mouth and tell the Lord something. Tell the Lord something. Open your mouth and tell the Lord something. Tell the Lord something. Oh, Sakabaya. Libilin did the bossy and Tayabala. Eh, my and Arabala Catabasi and Bo Libilin did the bossy and Shiki and Arabia. Eh, Cababasa and Indirable. I want us to take this song in worship. And I hand over to the And you And you And
Adeni Nara, and Shawan Yona, Mami Moo, Mami Moo, Adeni Nara, Shawan Yona, and you. We have not come to tell you stories. Your lives will never be the same. I want us to be quiet. A matter of, of three minutes. Receiving impartation from the Lord. As I minister with the instrumentalist. Focus on the transfigured Christ. I want the room to be as quiet as you can. As the Lord imparts you. As giftings are released. As ministries are shared. As function is poured. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What the Lord God Almighty is. Hallelujah. I want
Yehua dom su sa fouini. Ye yi wa yo. Yehua dom su sa fouini. Yeku tu wo. Please, you can take your seat. Yeku mi atana. Yehua dom su sa fouini. Ye yi wa yo. Ampara Yehua, Dom Su Where ye knew where the arch Oh, Don't 
Master Jesus. Thank you for the divine encounter. We thank you that we have been transformed. We thank you that our eyes have been opened. We thank you that we have seen you. May your name be glorified. Amen. May your name be honored. We pray in Jesus' name. May we continue to stay and abide in your presence, forever loving you, forever fearing you, forever abiding in you. May your name be honored now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Oh, may God bless you. You can do it better for Jesus. Help me stretch your hands towards our Dear Father, Apostle Emmanuel Ejekwafo, there's a lot that the Lord has released through him to us this morning. But it's also evident that there's a lot that the Lord must do with him in our generation and even to impart generations of born. As we stretch forth our hands on him, I want to pray that is own will forever be exalted. The Lord will continue to open mysteries to him. Deeper mysteries than this. Will always oil his mouth. Open your mouth, please. Speak some words into the life of the man of God who the Lord has used to bless us so wonderfully this morning. Oh God. Oh God. Preserve this one. Oh God, keep this one. Oh God. Oh God, our hope for ages to come. Ah, limo shenda da 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 bakure maseko. Oh God, keep him oiled, keep him strengthened, keep him anointed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Wonderful. Bad job, Baba. Job, Papa. On behalf of leadership and the entire congregation, we are very grateful that you accepted our invitation. And not just that, but you have come to really, really, really take us to another level. It's been awesome this morning. In fact, it's been awesome all week. And that is why this morning the climax is just something that words cannot explain. I know we will not recover from this. Me, I know huh? that we will not recover from this. You, you will not recover from this. You will not recover from this. You will not recover. You will not recover from it. You will not recover from it. It will linger in our hearts and our lives. I want to thank our online viewers. This is where we probably um, part company. We thank you for joining us uh, on Facebook. Thank you for being with us throughout the week. If you are listening to us, you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, I want to give you the opportunity to encounter Christ, uh, have a relationship with him, and then be a child of God. Same way if there's someone who has been invited this morning, you don't have a relationship with Jesus, you are outside there, you are in the auditorium, you want to um, 
take this opportunity very seriously and give your life to Jesus. Wherever you are, you can put up your hands in the auditorium or outside. Let's help you to accept Jesus, to confess Jesus as Lord and Savior. If not, we want to lead our online viewers to do that. You want to say this prayer with me, those of you joining us online. Say, Lord Jesus, I can accept you this day into my life as my personal Lord and Savior. Come and take control of my life and lead me in your ways so that I'll forever follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You have said this prayer. The good news is that Jesus has come to live in your heart. You are a child of God. You need to find any church of Pentecost nearby and then commit yourself to spiritual training. So that when Jesus shall return again, all of us shall join him in heaven. This is where we part company with you, brothers and sisters online. It's been great having you. The Lord bless you and be with you. Keep, uh, you know, following set your PSI page and PIWCO's page for quality spiritual and uplifting spiritual and I mean content. But until we meet again. May the good Lord be with you all. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my praise the Lord, Lou. Hallelujah. We thank God for our.